1917, the end of the First World War, is a really dramatic year in Jerusalem because it's the end of 400 years of Ottoman rule in the city and beginning of a British mandate. The British mandate didn't last very long, it was only here until 1948, but the Brits seem to have taken their rule of Jerusalem very, very seriously and you can see how important the city was to them and how much effort they made in making the streets better, making the trains better, bringing water and electricity into the houses, funding public institutions to make the city as best as it can be. And it really worked. The city quadrupled its size during the short British mandate and doubled its citizens, all the while taking care to have high quality housing and gardens for the people who lived here. Right in front of me and behind me, and hopefully you're seeing this here, so you're gonna just walk into them the second this video is over, is the YMCA Jerusalem building and the King David Hotel. My recommendation is to go up the bell tower of the YMCA and see one of the most spectacular four-directional views of Jerusalem, but also to see the world of yesterday because you're going to get such an oriental atmosphere in there in the lobby. And I also would like to recommend you to enter this building. It was began in 1929. It's the King David Hotel. And as you push open the doors, you'll kind of not have, see everyone dressed in their proper 1920s, 1930s attire, but could feel for a moment a bit of the atmosphere along with a good cup of coffee.